guys, welcome back to my channel, Layer Casa, where we talk about all things home decor, interior design, DIY, and all the lovely things. So I am super excited for today's video because it's one that I've actually had completed for maybe six months now. So I've lived in the space and I am so in love with it, like more in love than what I thought I was going to be. If I could literally sleep there all day and stay there, I would. Um, but anyway, so this video is all about my bathroom remodel. So I'm taking you along with me as um, we redesign my bathroom, give it a little facelift and showing you guys how to be able to do the same thing on a budget and it's super user friendly and you don't really need a lot of tools. It's very easy to do on your own. So as I go through this video, you will see that I had to make some design changes and pivots because of cost and just time frame. However, I truly believe that sometimes these pivots and changes, even though in the moment they seem just unfair or that it's gonna just completely kill your design trust me sometimes it just works out better especially if you get creative with it and you just rework um, or find a new way to make it happen so if you are looking for simple and easy ways to give your space a makeover this video is for you all right so it's a little bit of a mess because some demo has started um so some of the things that have already happened are there's two medicine cabinets, one here, and then one up on this side, and that's been removed. I really just want to declutter, so if I take out the medicine cabinets, I think that'll help, as well as um, I am going to remove this long mirror and create two individual mirrors, new lighting on the ceiling, added a can here for better lighting, and then as well as in the bathroom, we added I can and moved over the exhaust fan. The texture is pretty thick here, so we're working on making it smooth a little bit better. Other than that, I'm working with the budget, so I'm going to have to keep this vanity for now. The plans would be just to paint it some sort of, I don't know, like chocolate brown color to play off of the existing slab and stone here, as well as um, an issue with these faucets here is that from the very beginning when they were placed the spout is really close to the neck of this faucet so anytime you turn it on you have to be really careful and mindful because it would overflow into the back here and always make a mess tons of cleaning up so planning on a new fixture here so that doesn't happen anymore and here is some progress it's the first coat of plaster and then as well we have covered up the medicine cabinet hole with some drywall and the mirror has been removed so slowly but surely we're getting there made a little bit more progress i actually found some more affordable tile that i'm gonna use to create a pattern here on this backsplash so um i'll be changing that so that's why we ripped up the existing backsplash around the perimeter here and I was hoping to find an affordable vanity but it doesn't look like it so that's why I have samples there on the corner to paint out this one so hopefully it turns out um, how I'm thinking in my head so I highly recommend getting all your paint swatches there's also nice nifty like peel and stick ones so you can get a oh, better look at how your paint is going to look with the shadows in your space as well as with the different lighting temperatures that you have going on because the way paint looks in one room is not going to always look the same in another. The backsplash uh, drywall has been patched and it's going to actually get prepped to do Roman clay all throughout the room. I actually just found some leftover tile that I can use as a backsplash instead of having to purchase a completely new one. All right, so we have some exciting updates. So first off, the sconce location has been placed. And at first, it was gonna be a little bit tricky just because, as you can see here, 
on this side, um, we ran into a two by four, but luckily there is a more um, shallow electrical box that can work there. So crisis averted. And then we're getting the floors laid out. Um, so it's coming along. This is, I decided to do just a brick lay. So again, the way that you can make your tile look differently is by the layout, but also with the grout size. So you can either do like really close, like an eighth, or here it's like a quarter inch apart. So the grout shows a little bit more. And again, that can also be a great feature. You can do light, dark to make it completely disappear. Floors are all finished up and grouted. It's just still drying up. And then I think you haven't seen, but this wall here, let me zoom out, is completely smoothed out. All right, we are a step closer to being finished. The faucet is installed. So exciting. I'm so in love with this faucet. I feel like it's still modern, but it has some traditional elements to it. This one still swivels. So the beautiful thing is now I won't have that issue with the previous faucet where it was so close. It didn't have enough of a neck here. It was so close that water would often spill over into the counter. So all that's left is um, installing the mirrors and then I have to paint this vanity here, adding a couple trim pieces, possibly to the ends and the bottom. And then lastly, um, adding the baseboards all around and painting the door. So a tip when grouting tile, especially when you have a pretty textured wall that you worked really hard on, use blue painters tape that way it easily comes off and it protects all of the work that you've done thus far here you just see me rubbing in the grout into all the lines and joints making sure to get all the nooks and crannies and then you can use just like a small sponge or rag carefully so you don't splash water on the wall treatment and then you can rub it off so for this backsplash i used um non-sanded grout, so that's great for any sort of union that's less than an eighth. Um, for example, um, anything like larger, typically on floors, like I have here, the union is a little bit larger than one eighth, so I used sanded grout. This one on this backsplash is the Brit White, and the brand is custom. You can find it um, at any Home Depot. It's readily available, and yep, for this piece here, all I really used was just a small amount in this bowl. Make sure you try to work as quickly as possible because it can dry up fairly quickly. Next up is putting this toilet paper holder that I got from Zara Home. I just love this one so, so much. Um, as you can see, it has some of like the distressed detail, which I love. and. I think it's gonna look super cute so I just have to drill it onto this wall and it's ready to go and then check out this beautiful detail here that we added on um, to the cabinet I just love it it makes it feel more like a furniture piece here's my little dude snooping around seeing what project I'm working on and of course, he wants all the cuddles and thinks it's playtime 24-7. And then I'm working on measuring the, the center point to put the knob. Um, the reason I have to do this is because it previously had a pool, so I had to fill in those holes with carbando. And I would not recommend doing that if you plan on restaining wood because those pieces will no longer be able to be stained and you're going to see the circles right behind. And... This process took me longer than what I wanted it to just because I was having difficulty with the drill bit and the thickness of the wood as well as I'm a measure twice cut one type of girl so 
I was measuring so much to make sure that it was perfect. These knobs just tie the entire design together and it was the last thing before the big reveal, which I can't wait to show you. So that is my bathroom remodel. I hope you liked it just as much as I enjoy using it every day. It truly brings me so much joy at being in there and just getting ready every morning. Hopefully this video gives you some inspiration on how you can easily make over your bathroom. And just remember sometimes it's not about like a completely gut renovation. It can be little by little like it is here in this case. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications for further videos. If you want to see more day-to-day -day things and just kind of mishaps happening in my everyday life, follow me on Instagram or TikTok at Layered Gasa. Well, you'll get a little bit more of the behind the scenes of what I do. And that's all that I have for you today. See you on the next one. Bye.